is for right, nothing and James was rubbish with a shotgun. Okay, Whoa! <laughs> B is for bollocks. Oh, bollocks. 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 <laughs> bollocks. 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 <laughs> ah. Bollocks. Gate. That's a gate. Bollocks. Bollocks and ass. C is for. Can anyone think of one thing in the world which is better hard than soft? Well, that's, that's quite awkward, actually, there, gentlemen. What? Ice. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> he got us out of it. D is for... That is my belt of many things. Are these all stuff? What cake? is that? Don't touch it. That's a dental health care kit. What's this? Don't touch it, just us. <laughs> that is a shoe polishing kit. What? what? A shoe polishing kit. Oh, thank God for that. If we get hungry, we'll be able to eat his kiwi boot you got polish. A Basically, what you've done is buy a My First Explorer kit, I've put it all on your belt, and... Touch it. E is for... But you've driven a bus, haven't you? Yes, lots. Lots How of bus drivers. How is it? Easiest thing I've ever done. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. It's as easy as sitting here. Yeah, it's easier, actually, because you're not being filmed. So you can have a joint. No, sorry. <laughs> F is for... France is a country you have to drive through to get to Italy. That's all it's for. <laughs> all right? G is for... Yeah, the gear lever's gone up my ass. H is for... Hello. Begin with the word hello. Ready? Hello. Hello. We were just wondering, we're trying to... Hello. I've walked into a dealership, hello, and then I've shot him. <laughs> Hi. Oh, but he thinks he's Bond. He does think he's Bond. Don't say anything about his suit. No. Hi. I is for... <laughs> I think it must be damp. <laughs> J is for... Wow! It's my town! Uh, we've just entered Jezza. Oh, no. When I say we've just entered Jezza, that's a disgusting thought. We've come into Jezza. No, we haven't come into Jezza. <laughs> Jezza Church. The they've church actually had a church where they worship me. My name is Jezza. Your name is Jezza. <laughs> my name is Jezza. What do you get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll like this, James. There is Jezza's back alley. Well found. K is for... Yeah. Come here, let me finish it off. No. You're going to be here all day. There can't be... Is there another... Zeg, I-G-O-G-A-B-B-A... Oh, yeah, that's... Very oh, yeah, you're King right. C-C. Yeah. That... Oh, no, there's no space no. for the time. But it goes... It goes... Oh, I was rather hoping it might not, actually. Can he reach? <laughs> L is for... Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great you... Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great... It is with great pride and humility that I accept this award for good... Oh. M is for... Hey, 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 listen. Do you want an Audi A4, OK, that's much more expensive and harder to park? Yes, I do. Good news. <laughs> Because this week, OK, we've received news that there's a new Audi A8, OK? It's designed by a man called uh, Mick Dick. Uh, <laughs> I've got to, I've got... No, 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 I've got the bump here, OK? Um, Is there anything interesting to tell us about it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what does it look like? No idea. This is the picture they sent, OK? <laughs> it's, it's under a cloth. Yes. And who's he? That's Mick Dick. Oh, that's him? Yeah. <laughs> Best friends, as it turns out, of uh, Billy Willy. <laughs> now, they work, they work for Bob Knob, do they? <laughs> With Roger Todger. <laughs>
They were going to get it designed by the Scottish car designer, uh, Jock Cock. <laughs> Actually, there was something interesting in here, okay? There was, genuinely, right? Because what Audi has done is they've outlined what the A8 customer is. And they say, <laughs> he's highly affluent, uh, this, uh, an average income of $500,000 a year. Uh, he's 58 years old, uh, highly educated, uh, mostly married. <laughs> mostly married? How, what is that? What, so he's sort of married? I don't know, down to there, and then this bit is separate. <laughs> yeah, it says he's got a few children still in the household. What, in the basement? Yeah, he's a kidnapper, is what I'm saying. There's a woman here who is 58 years old on half a million dollars a year with divorced shins and some children in the basement. <laughs> oh dear, Mick Dick's cocked up. <laughs> he's not built Dick. a car for someone who doesn't exist. Yeah. N is for now we're alone, viewers. Let me tell you a little bit about my car. Now we're alone, viewers. I will admit I'm not feeling entirely confident about this. Now we're alone, viewers. I can tell you that the Volvo is the best car here. Now we're alone, viewers. I can admit to one or two very small faults with my Cadillac. The first is that squeak, which is a loose belt or bearing or something. The other, it is fantastically slow, this thing. Right, viewers, now we're alone. Look, that car should be the fastest up that course, but with the best one in the world, I'm not going to be. So, I've got a plan. English stick. Right, now we're alone, viewers. I can reveal that that windscreen wiper incident is really a bit of an aside compared with some of the other problems that this car has. Most of these relate to the engine, in particular the way Lancia mounted the power steering pump on the end of one of the camshafts. Normally I'd say at this point, now we're alone, viewers, let me talk you through a couple of things that aren't right with my car, but I'm afraid I can't do that because everything in here works perfectly. There is, if you look in the left-hand dial, which is the rev counter, there's an engine warning light on to remind me that the engine warning light works. O is for... Oh, crikey, it's the Albanian Rosas. Ah. P is for... With this moving at 400 RPM, was it going to surrender? Well, if that explodes, you'll be okay, but that's about it. <laughs> that's what <laughs> it does. It just goes around doing this. It's like a mechanical cat. It's a military machine with some white paint on it. It is a military. It's for clearance and saving lives. Princess Diana had one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Q. Q is for... Quaint my ride. R is for... Richard Hammond won't be able to enjoy any of this because he won't eat anything unless it's come from a burger van on the A38. But I don't like cheese, it's full of bacteria and I don't like fish. Mate, it's all fish, huh? Yeah, it's good for you. I don't like fish. Well, you've come to the wrong country. S is for... Still, could be worse. Still, could be worse. summary of the turn my life has taken. Um, I'm 20 miles south, not north of Doncaster, uh, by the side of the A1, in the rain. The motorcycle is slightly broken. What I did was leave the fuel tap on, the reserve tap on, so the, uh, the bike pulled a load of sludge through from the bottom of the fuel tank, clogged up the left-hand carburetor and has now stopped. Still, could be worse. This, I think, is still that rain that we had left behind, but I got caught up in again because I was delayed having to rebuild my carburettor. As a result, getting quite wet. Very wet. So... It's Saturday morning, and the continuing adventures of the Black Shadow continue! Still, it could be worse. Still, could be worse. Fenton! 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 Oh, Jesus Christ! Still, could be worse. It's Hammond! That's Hammond! Did... Uh... Still, could be worse. What's up? Driving along, the washers have suddenly gone on 
wipers and the engine has stopped. No! Still, could be worse. Is for but that's not Hitler. It is. It isn't. No, that car was built long before indicators were invented, so he's just there to do some hand signals. Really? <laughs> what signals are you doing there then, James? He's saying, take the Third Reich. <laughs> Ow! U is for you. Bentley is owned by VW. Yeah. That car was styled by a Belgian, and it was engineered by a man called Ulrich Eichhorn. <laughs> Doesn't sound very British. Are you Does presenting it? Top Gear or are you writing a letter to the Daily Telegraph? Well, I'm just saying that you know immediately that that car is German because it's got too much power. They've overdone it, as usual, like they did on their French holiday in 1939. James! <laughs> James, the Queen is German, but yes. you don't sing Deutschland, Deutschland, Uber Alleys every time she comes on the television, do you? Well, I do, actually. Yeah, he yes. does. V is for... A Have we got any vegetables? Is that a vegetable, then, yeah. here? Yeah, sausages. W is for... Can I just read it to you, dear Mr Clarkson? You're going to love this. I'm writing to you on behalf of the world-famous Madame Tussauds. Oh, oh they're God. not going to... Yes, they are. Are you joking? Yes, oh, they are. Oh, no, why... They say they, I have been highly requested, highly requested to be immortalised in wax. <laughs> Are you sure that doesn't say immersed in wax? <laughs> no, immortalised in wax. How are they going to immortalise you in wax? Where are they going to get all the wax? <laughs> Presumably they'll have to melt down everything else in Madame Tussauds to make one massive hideous wax dummy <laughs> of a hideous dummy. Then it's easy. They just get a very big candle, they light it, let it drip down the edges for a couple of hours, and then just draw a face on it with a felt tip. <laughs> that would look a bit like it. And what are they going to do with it when they've got it? Imagine children. We go to Madame Tussauds, we go to... What is it? Ah! It's going to be the, the first waxworks in history to be sculpted with a pickaxe. <laughs> yes, and a hammer. Yeah. I want to see them sculpting it, because imagine once they've melted down enough wax, which is a lot, the size of the urn, it'll look like a scene from Lord of the Rings, with all these little orcs <laughs> moving around the bottom, they're getting ready for that big paw to create this hideous, hideous, grotesque, enormous thing. How are they going to fit it in? No, don't put it there. Put it in the Natural History Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Better still, yeah, <laughs> next to the big brontosaur. <laughs> Just a big skeleton. Just a big skeleton next to the brontosaur. Big Tyrannosaurus. What the hell is that? <laughs> and then people can go and watch. Ladies and gentlemen, the sound of bitterness and jealousy. <laughs> X is for. It's a car I have justifiably called the Excellent. The internal organs from a Land Rover Discovery mated to the beautiful skin of a glamorous Mercedes SL. To create a vision of pure, what's the word? Rubbish. Rubbish. Why is free? No, but you do see that occasionally. You see the mother in the front, and then and then there's a bloke sitting in the back seat. Oh, it's tragic. It's, yeah, it's, it's the most pitiable oh, sight God, you can see. <laughs> She's effectively saying, you've given me the baby, now get in the back. Yeah. Z is for... You're soft. White. Flesh. Mine. All mine. Wah. Wah. Basically, I am Paul Newman. Same colour eyes, middle-aged. I like being this. What are you doing? It's a scene from Butch Cassidy. Yeah, I know that bit, but that's not a bicycle. He's really not Catherine Ross, and I'm a rubbish shot. I don't, I'm just having... It's Butch Cassidy's house!